So what is going on everybody, my name is Mehul and welcome to your third WebSockets tutorial in which I'm going to show you a very basic implementation or a working of a WebSocket and that is just transferring simple text messages over the WebSocket, right? So this website is websocket.org and this guy has made a simple application which just shows you how a socket would work with the help of these buttons only like you can just connect to the socket see it says connected and now you can just send some messages and the server would echo them out as it is whatever you send right so let's just see how this is working so if i go to network and switch this to websocket and reload the page uh, just come down a little bit and uh, if I connect, you can see that the socket is open. It's of type WebSocket. Right there, you can see. And uh, right here, you see that the headers are not so interesting. And actually, they are, but uh, you know, it, they are not familiar like you would see in a HTTP request. So this is a first is a protocol handshake, which happens so that uh, your server knows that you are the one who is requesting data now the frames would be an interesting place for us because this is the place where your server messages and the messages you are sending over the socket would be logged right so let's just see what we have in here so if I send in like first message and I hit send you can see that in green I get the message which I have sent and uh, you can see the delay in the WebSocket is in order of a few milliseconds only not much so and this white one is the message received by the client from the server right so and the screen one is the message your client sent to the server so this is how you basically would debug a web socket because uh, you know you need to have your network tab open when you are first of all connecting otherwise you would just miss this request and would eventually miss all these frames so how do you implement it it's pretty easy just go to your index or whatever file open up console and start writing so let's just say your sock is new web socket and then right here you need to specify your web socket so let's just steal this one right now and uh, just copy this and paste it right here and uh, what this WSS is actually is just a protocol and this means web socket secure right you can just emit this s as well if you want but I'm just gonna keep it so just hit enter and now your socket is ready now in network you would see that you have actually kind of requested a socket request but uh, for receiving and sending messages there's something more you need to do so if you write sock and dot then you'd see that you have a lot of methods here like on close on error on message on open and this send and some other interesting methods and properties through which you can implement your socket right so yeah so that's all for this tutorial and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching and in the next one i'm going to show you how we can implement this thing this application right here without creating so much of a mess right because this code looks you know just way too much for a simple application like this one so yeah so that is all for this one and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one